Hello and welcome to this episode. Here is my Canon 5D Mark II. Beautiful camera. And this is just your intro before we get into it. So this photography live show is going to be an amazing one. We're going to be looking at a number of different creators and they're going to be speaking to us about their 5D Mark II and how they use it. So this episode has been mainly dedicated to just the Canon 5D Mark II, which I believe is the best full frame Canon DSLR, even though it's really old. So what we will do today is look at the camera, look at a few options from different creators, ranging from really big creators to really small upcoming creators. Uh, remember this show has been made for replay purposes. So when you're watching this later on, you can actually look in the chapters and I'll have different timestamps so you can actually jump to the section you want. I've also provided these images to be edited, uh, the raw images from this camera by our retouchers from Reddit. Uh, don't miss out, we're going to be coming up shortly. Armando, thanks for joining us today. I'm going to jump straight into it and ask you, the 5D Mark II, it's one of those cameras that's paved the way. What do you think? It really did pave the DSLR revolution. At the time when this camera was released, it had some amazing specs. You had full HD, you had a full frame sensor, 24 frames per second, at such a small body that it was just pretty mind blowing at the time. I recall the 5D Mark II worked its way into some big Hollywood productions. Can you tell me a bit more about some of the videos it was used in? There was a lot of movies that were actually using the Canon 5D Mark II, notably one of them being Iron Man, they used it in selective shots, and Act of Valor was actually almost completely shot using the Canon 5D Mark II. Wow, that's some big productions there, that's really cool. Um, I know the 5D Mark II doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but there's a couple of options to get around that. How did you do that? The thing is that when this camera first shipped, it didn't have dual ISO, HDR mode, you didn't have focus peaking zebras, or even the ability to record raw video. So how is it possible that you can do that today? Well, as I mentioned earlier, this camera was so popular that there was a strong community of developers that created a software called Magic Lantern. Thank you, Armando. That's some really good uh, points there. I won't spoil the surprise again. I know you have the video on your channel about Magic Lantern. So what I will do is link to that so people can check out that video on your channel. Um, any final thoughts on the 5D Mark II? It also opens up to creators that don't want to spend a lot of money and have the ability to film in RAW and even other features. I mean, there's a lot of fundamentals that you can learn from a camera like this. And Armando makes some great film making videos. He's an editor, a gear nerd, and there's loads of great videos on his channel. So there will be a link in the cards. So it would be great to check out his channel and the type of content he makes, I think you will find interesting. That was my chat with Armando. We pre-recorded that session just to make sure we can get the different time zones sorted out. He made some great points there and it's really interesting to see and hear that the Canon 5D was used in some big Hollywood produ productions and the quality is there. There's a lot of new cameras that have come out recently, the R5, R6. I did a separate funny video before this one actually, just comparing the two cameras, um, the R5 versus the R6 versus the 5D Mark II. That was interesting to see actually. Um, so thank you Armando for taking part with that and giving me your points of view. It's really interesting to hear that from you. I also spoke to Martin. He does a lot of great work as well. So if I bring you that segment. Up next we're speaking to Martin. He was a landscape portrait photographer. He does some amazing work and he's out there in the elements. So how are you doing at the moment? What shot are you planning to get today, Martin? What I'd love to get a shot of is that mountain there just peeking out of the clouds. You know, it would be like one of those scenes where the ghost ship comes through the clouds on, a, on the sea, you know, when it's really still and it just comes creeping through the clouds. It could look like that, but with an like, epic big mountain that's covered in snow. That's what I'm gonna try and shoot. So I'm tempted now to go and shoot that and see if I can just pull it out some of the detail in post-production. Looks pretty cold out there, mate. How are you coping? Are you still keeping warm in yourself? I can feel it on my face. Like my body is like properly warm because I'm wearing the right clothes. I'm warm inside. Uh, I know you're using the 5D Mark II at the moment to get those shots. How are you battling the elements? Because that snow coming in looks quite intense. Use my gloves and I'm going to cover it. 
I've got my settings already set. So I'm going to set my timer. Two seconds. And I'm just going to take it away for a moment. I'm going to take the shot and then put it back and hope for the best, basically. <laughs> That's about all I can do. So here we go. That's nice, the shot. I'm only going to take one. Like, I can't really do much more than that. I just have to hope that that works out and I get something out of it. Uh, that's quite a good trick there with the covering it and just letting it go last minute. So that's a good idea. I know you do a lot more uh, tutorials and tips on your channel. So I'll make sure the viewers check that out. Anytime the conditions change like that really quickly, I'll often try and grab another shot because I think to myself, the lighting is going to be different. It could be better. You know, it gives you that drama when you've got that good lighting coming in from the side like this. Those are some amazing shots there, Martin. Thanks for those. Uh, I won't spoil the surprise. I will link in the cards to your full video so the viewers can go and check you out. It's a great learning opportunity for you guys. I'm sure you'll find his videos interesting. And he does regularly vlog as well, which is actually exciting to join him on his journeys. So if I make sure to link to these in the description, so check them out. He's got his Instagram for profile where you can actually check out some of his recent work as well. So it's great having Martin on the show today. Thank you and make sure to check him out. Again, that was a great look at Martin and he's doing some great work there. Thank you for everybody in chat that's dropping and saying hello. Monkey, we are live. This is a live session, so thank you for joining in. We have a few other people that will be dropping in throughout the show. Uh, what I like to do is these segments that I'm playing to you are actually sessions that I spoke to the creators beforehand because they're from all over the world and it can be tricky trying to get them live live. So what we do is speak to them and get that session pre-recorded and then I can play them to you. So it's a bit more smooth. Um, so I'm hoping you're finding this useful, especially if you're looking at the Canon 5D Mark II in 2020. Is it worth buying that camera? I also spoke to Zeke, so I'll bring you that segment. So Zeke, I know you use the Canon 5D Mark II. Tell me about your current setup. As we all know, it's a camera from 2009, um, and this Magic Lantern stuff really brings life to it. The Canon 5D Mark II is a full frame camera with a full frame sensor. So with a 2.8K resolution, you're pretty much gonna get a micro four thirds field of view. But the beauty of this is that it allows you to use APS-C lenses. So if you're planning on using the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8 on the 5D Mark II, you definitely can with this mode thanks to the two times crop factor. Do you have any sample footage we could take a look at? That's some pretty cool footage. How are you getting those uh, smooth shots? Now the best thing I find is to use an neck strap, stretch it out, create that tension, and then this is gonna help you get the nice smooth looking videos. The more stabilized your footage looks straight out of cam, um, the better it's gonna be when you apply stabilization in post. So neck strap, stretch it out, tension, and you're gonna get nice smooth looking footage. So here's Zeke's uh, YouTube channel. Make sure to check him out and give him a subscribe. He's got some great content being pushed out with different types of videos. Excellent, that was some really good tips there from Zeke. He's got some great stuff on his channel, so make sure to do check that out. And um, that trick with the neck strap and getting some steady footage was really great with the helicopter. It looked actually quite cool. And um, if you're dropping in in chat, make sure to say hello. It's great to see you. We have got our live segment coming up shortly, so we will keep uh, an eye out on that. Uh, yes, that was a good tip. Hi, uh, Vincent. Great to have you on. So we're basically dedicating this show to the 5D Mark II, which is quite an old camera. And the images I gave you guys in the Edit My Raw section were from that camera, which is basically my old Canon 5D. I say old, it still works perfectly fine and a lot of people have been using it. If you're joining now, make sure to check out the replay of the show because we had some great speakers um, speaking about the 5D and how they use it and how it's been used in Hollywood films. Um, I also spoke to Jordan. He gave us a bit of uh, information about the cameras. If I bring you that. Here's a quick segment of me catching up with Jordan about some common 
questions of the 5D Mark II. Now, I've been using my Canon 5D Mark II as my primary camera for just over a year now and for me it's actually been an amazing experience it's a camera that i think is still awesome to this day and i recommend it to virtually anybody who asks i mean even like seemingly insignificant things like the way the camera feels in your hand or which one has better battery life or what type of cards to take you know that may seem like less important stuff but in all honesty having owned several dslrs i found that that sort of thing ends up being significantly more impactful on my experience of the camera than how many megapixels it has so to me you you know, criticizing the 5D Mark II, um, regardless of its megapixel count, it's just kind of silly, you know, for any camera. But going back specifically to the 5D Mark II, the resolution is still so high, you know, it, I just can't see why anyone really would be wanting to waste their time complaining about it. For whatever reason, you'll hear tons of people saying, oh, the autofocus is horrible, it's so old, it's so slow, this, that, and the other. Now, the thing is, it does sort of depend on which autofocus mode you're using. If you're using AI focus mode or AI servo mode, it's not the best. Is it as horrendously, unusably bad as people complain? No, definitely not. But, you know, it's not great. And that's not necessarily the fault of the camera as much as those just being innately less good modes. But the thing is, though, if you switch it to one-shot autofocus mode, it actually is very, very good. Um, like I said, I just leave it on that all the time, and it works absolutely perfectly for me. I really would have no reason to complain about the autofocus. Seriously, try to find any smartphone or laptop that's made it three or four years without some sort of debilitating hardware failure due to poor build quality or having to deal with some necessary software update that makes it slower than a Trabant. You know, these things are just not made to last to the same extent as DSLRs. DSLRs are just made to last to a far more significant extent. Even DSLRs that are far older and cheaper than the 5D Mark II are still way more usable than most people would think. So when you combine the general longevity of DSLRs with the fact that the 5D Mark II was so, so, so ahead of its time, it's no surprise that this camera is still great. Here's a quick look at Jordan Photo's YouTube page. He makes a number of videos around gear and music, so make sure to check him out and give him a subscribe. That was a look at Jordan. Thank you for that information. It's always good to hear the limitations of cameras because it is an old camera. You can't expect it to do recent things. But what I have found is some of the newer cameras are easier to shoot with. So they do a lot of actual processing in the camera for you. So you don't have to worry about making sure the camera is focused on the photo. For example, the 5D is back to core basics. And um, that was a quick look at a number of creators. I did a segment out and about with the action camera. So I recorded a whole video about the 5D Mark II with an old 4K action camera, just to give you an option of should you buy the camera in 2020. That's going to be our last segment for the photography live show, speaking about the 5D Mark II specifically from creators. Then we're going to jump into the edit my raw section. So it's great. We've got people popping into chat. Even people that don't like photography are there asking us what this is all about. So it's very interesting. Thank you. And here's our next segment. Is it worth buying a 5D Mark II in 2020? Here's my 5D Mark II with a 50mm 1.4 lens. I think, yes, you should still buy a 5D Mark II. And the reason being, they're relatively cheap, they give you great image quality, they're great in low light, it's a professional body, and it's a magnesium body. So what you will find is, with this camera, it's old, yes, but with everything else that is currently available, second hand, this camera will serve you well. HD video, great photos. You can choose between different settings when you take photos in RAW. You can choose a smaller size to save space. And I would say this camera I've had maybe seven years now and I've been really happy with it. I've got a mixture of lenses. So if anything, what you want to do is save some money and spend money on good lenses. Because if you've got good lenses, your body will always provide decent images. Don't get stuck in the megapixel war. Every camera is getting more and more megapixels, but do you need megapixels? As long as you've got a good sensor and a full frame sensor, 35 millimeters, that's more than enough. 
Don't compare them to mobile phones because mobile phones are smaller. 5D Mark II, go and buy it right now. I'm hoping you find this helpful if you're considering buying an old camera because I know some of our old camera videos on our channel have done really well. So we did last week's episode concentrating on the 550D which is a T2i camera and that's really old camera. You're looking at 12 years plus depending on which country it released in. So I know not all of us can afford expensive gear. So if you're interested in photography or doing video, there's nothing wrong with buying an old camera. That's the main point of these videos and this show as well to make sure that we can get everybody shooting. I think it's time that we looked at the edit my raw section. And I know we've got loads of people coming and in chat from the edit my role from reddit so make sure to say hi um, I put some photos up those photos were from the 5d mark II because this show is dedicated to that we're going to stick to that theme so I basically put the images out I'll show you the images that I had and which ones I've shared so if I show you the images that I offered we had three photos that I shared. Here's number one. Okay, so this one was taken in Birmingham, Digbeth. We were actually on a canal boat going through and those shots were taken. Some of you may remember that if uh, you do. So that is a bridge. It didn't look too great. Like the photo, I was like, you know what, it's not great. But last week's show, I showed it to the retouchers in the end of the show, I said, what would you like to choose next time? And it's interesting they picked that out. And it's amazing what they've done with it. The guys that edit them, you'll be really surprised how good they made the edit. Uh, you'll see that as we go through the show. That's the first photo taken with the 5D Mark II. That's the second photo, Bullring in Birmingham town. Uh, a bit of motion in the bus, a lady walking. I was actually filming a video comparing two lenses for this. And that was just a shot that we took randomly, which... I thought I'll give it to you as a cityscape. Uh, the sky's all brown out, I know. It wasn't great, so I'm hoping that helps. And that is uh, a manor. That is the manor, Tony. If you were here, you would know the manor. Okay, so this is what was provided. In this one, there was more information, to be honest. You can see there's clouds and everything's kind of nice. So I'm hoping you guys did a lot of magic with this, and you did do. If you're here from Reddit, make sure to say hello. It's always great to get you on. If you're watching in replay, I'm going to go through each segment and cover your edit my raw photos. I'm going to see which ones stand out, which ones look really good. And we have our infamous award that we offer for the best edits. So watch out, guys. Okay, so those are the three images I showed you. And Xander, he's here in the house. It's great to always have you on. I look forward to these moments when I see your hands in chat. Okay, so that's the three photos. Um, what I'll do is, like what we did last time, I'll make sure, yes, BS, welcome, hello. Um, okay, so I'll do what we did last time. I'll show them in segments because that way it's easier to explain. So if I show you, let me just refresh that. Okay, so if I show you the first one, which is the manor. You guys did some magic with this photo, I'll be honest with you. So let me bring them up and put them side by side. And then we can look at the explanations of these as well. So that's the first photo. I like the nice sunny feel about it. This is from Albin. Thank you, Albin. I've fixed my uh, image now so I can zoom in. I've What I did in Windows 10, it's a little hack that you can get the Windows 7 image viewer. So I just updated the registry and got the... So now I can zoom in. Before, remember, I used to have like a headache with it. If you watch the earlier shows, uh, this is episode 10 of the Photography Live show. So thank you, everybody. It's been amazing. It's always great to get you guys on and looking at these. Okay, nice job. Okay, beautiful job. Okay, Albin, that's the first one. Oh, ho, 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 on. Mate, he gives me an Adams Family feel there. Have you seen the Adams Family? Like that film effect any minute now, Fest is going to walk down the stairs. That has a very good job. 
It reminds me of my old film camera back in the day. Ooh. Johannes put in an entry. Great to see something from Johannes. We always look forward to his stuff. He's a great guy. We had him on on episode eight, I think. He spoke to us about edits and stuff. He's really cool. Great guy. Okay, so this one is very nice. And guess what? Johannes has sent us the actual file that he made this with. So he supplied me the Photoshop file here. So I can see the layers building up. So that was really impressive. If I show you how he's, if I get rid of all the, that's the standard image. That was his first phase of bringing out detail. There's a few filters in there for background copy. And uh, I'll, I'll read his description. He explains it better than I can. And then you can see that one there. Is, look at that improvement there with that one little visible, getting all that extra detail in the sky. And then he built up on it bit by bit and then he got to his final image thank you very much johannes that's great to see all that information in the background uh johannes these are all taken with the old camera 2008 the camera was made in so think about that that is a nice edit from leb leb's another regular hopefully he's in chat so make sure to say hi i like that crop drawing attention to the building the clouds kind of coming in black and white and color great great legendary that pops that pops a lot okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get my best three and compare them side by side that looks very nice what is it i think it's lightened up the brickwork tony are you here i don't know if tony's here raj is raj here maybe maji poo Ooh, very nice i like the green it's got a bit of a painting feel to it He's gone for a few edits. I'm going to read the descriptions. I'm going through the images first. Raj, here's Raj's. Another detailed edit, a bit of, he's got rid of a lot of the green, give it a moody feel, which is good. Real steel. That looks almost painting egg. Yeah, like a painting X. Painting esque feel. Wow. That is a nice job. I do like the trees, especially these kind of pine trees. You normally see them in like Cannon Hill Park. Okay. Vincent, Uber Vincent, yeah, bam, that is a nice, nice edit there. Okay, and guess what he's done? Guess what he's done, bruv? Okay, I'm gonna compare these to the originals, but I'm just doing like a quick glance over. That's back to number one. Okay, so in this one we had nine photos, and let me make them a bit bigger so we can compare them. A uh, large icon. Okay, there we go. Let me see if I can put them all. Okay, there. So right now, looking at those, the ones that pop, Johannes, that pops. That's the edit. Let me bring you the original, just so you can see it side by side. Edit my row and the building. Uh, hang about for the canal picture. You guys did an amazing job in the canal picture as well. The water one. Okay, so that's the original. That's Johannes. Original Johannes. Wow, look at that. You know what? Johannes gets an award straight away. Because that level of work he's gone out and done on that building, you can tell that actually looks, look how dark that was. And look at where he is. It's a beautiful job, Johannes. Let me read his description. I think he's given us a bit of information. Uh, okay. Johannes one was okay um okay yeah he's oh, he's a busy guy Johannes is I know he's been very busy at home and stuff so thank you for taking the time out and doing these edits for us in capture one I mostly did global edits changed the fold the profile to film high contrast raised exposure cooler white balance lifted shadows brought down highlights minor sharpening clarity etc then i did a couple of masks to warm the yes the white balance back up to the house itself remove the vehicle and birds and drop the brightness in the clouds some more then the photoshop i did a few apply image adjustments similar to frequency separation but different blending modes screen and color dodge with a gaussian blur added to each layer that's you can see and let me show you that so what he's referring to there is you know in photoshop if you're familiar with it you can put different layers in and gradient fill gaussian blur all those kind of things are in the list here 
that was really intense there uh, okay and masking out the ma mana keep it sharp while making everything else softer and more muted that worked out very well because that pop in the building is awesome then i added vibrance lowered saturation after that a couple of gradients to get some more color back and give it an old haunted feel and some extra sharpening on the house and that's about it Try to keep the edits subtle and build them slowly to get the look I wanted. Hopefully you like it. I definitely like it. It looks awesome. And maybe next week I can make a live stream. Yes, it'd be good to get you on. It's always nice to chat with you. He's giving me the PSD, which we looked at. Um, make sure to say hi, Xander. Hello, bruv. Uh, BS, Uber, Monkey. I think he's vanished. Monkey came in earlier during the show, but I don't know if he's a fan of photography. He was giving us a bit of a hard time there. Okay, so um did he supply one okay that's fine so that was one that i liked let me have a look at a few more that stand out and then we can look at the descriptions as well okay so that was a nice one real steel oh okay jonas johannes stands out so does legendaries so does real steel ah right okay um just keep an eye on chat uh, okay so that looks actually epic to be honest that reminds me of like a bit of a hdr effect on there if i compare that to the let me get rid of the other one so we don't get confused okay that's that okay there and there okay right here there was something red there I had no, I think it's a board or something like a message board. So I'm glad that he got rid of it in his, in his edit, legendary. And he's put like a bush there, which is good. Okay. So he's paid attention to the detail. Legendary, good job. That was a nice. You get the best award for getting rid of that distracting red little board thing there. So well done. Uh, that's the original that's the edit it's almost as if like we've shown a bit of sun on the windows and we got a bit of nice blur there with detail beautiful job so it's between johannes and legendary at the moment and there's another one that pops to me as well to be fair there's a lot that look really good rajas looks nice alpha juan our regular that looks amazing but it reminds me of adam's family so it's got that old vintage feel which is really good uh, let me see if I can get some of the descriptions up so we can read that. Okay, so let's start here. Raj and Madge. Okay. Yes, Country Manor. Albins, that was the first one we saw. Made a more vivid look overall for this one. Made the images less flat by adding light. That worked. Good job. Uh, Mana, my favorite. Same technique for the Mana. I tried to accentuate the strange effect of the Mana. Lebs one. That, I think that's the one that I was looking at just a while ago. Let me bring that up. That's the original. Yeah, Leb is... Yeah, that's the one that had like the nice crop on it. Ooh. And yeah, it definitely makes that look like very... Victorian maybe, possibly? Is that the right era? Uh, okay, Real Steel's one I like as well. It's like... I think it's different perspectives, isn't it? It's, as you do these, you look at them and you think, wait a minute... That looks painting, but it does fit. It looks quite nice. Let's just have a look here and make sure we're doing good. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a nice one as well. So I think, let me go back to the main one. Magipoo's one is nice as well. I like all of them. Why do I like them? <laughs> it's hard to pick. Because it all brings something different to the table. So it depends what mood you're in. Like that looks like a sunny day. Like a, a tea party kind of day. You have like desks out there. And you're eating and stuff. But that reminds me. Oh okay. He's got rid of that red board as well. Good job. So you see that. Is that paying attention to that little bit of extra detail. That always is nice. Okay. So out of those ones. I'm, I'm leaning towards legendary. Real steel. Nice. Nice. But. 
Rajiv was not Uber, Uber. Okay, here we go. Now this is the one we gotta we gotta look at and talk about. Uber Vincent is the man, the myth, the legend. Let me just bring up here. Just make sure I can see everything. Okay, a bit of higgledy. Okay, and we are looking here. Okay. Alpha Vincent. Scott here. Scott isn't here, is he? Uber Vincent Scott. He is there. Hello. Okay. So, Vincent, let's have a look at this bad boy. Now, first thing I'm going to give you already. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining in. It's always great to see you. You're getting an award straight away. Because you know I like the one thing that you did here which is give us that addition of some nice birds. Look at those bad boys there. As if they were there magically. Okay. So there's his edit. Let me bring his description up. He's in chat anyway, but I know he's given us some info. Let me check. Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Okay. And the birds, they fly there. They do manner a place where the rich meet for sun satanic rituals to keep everyone's money <laughs> that's where they are they're basically the taxpayers taking all the money from the poor and keeping it for the rich robin hood is what it's about but where is robin hood we need one we need one of the jungle now uh jungle um sherwood forest okay those clouds look really nice Zander. okay let me just make sure i've got everyone here the emojis, I think when you click, if you're on a PC, you can click on that little, let me show you. So if you're on a PC, if you click here, you get like a list of emojis you can use. I'm not sure if they're on mobile or not though. Uh, yeah, I think you might not see them on mobile, maybe, possibly. Okay, that one, oh, okay. Let me, where was I? Okay, let me make sure. Okay, I'm getting lost. Uh, that's the... Here we go, okay. Yes. Okay, that one is actually quite a nice job because I got a bit of a hint of a tinge of black and white in there, but there's contrast, the birds make it. I like that one, that was a good job. Uh, let me check another one up. Where's the other one gone? There's another one that looked really nice, which is... Okay, there. I'm comparing them two together because they're similar black and white edits. I like the cut and the crop on that. Did you add, is that an effect or is that a filter? You know, these little white little specks of dust and stuff that you add on the camera, the, the picture. Just have a look. I'm hoping Xander can explain because he's a regular here and he does like nice edits. So that there. I like the grain. It's got a bit of contrast to it and it's giving it a bit of pop. And it's a good cut. Let me go to the original. There's the original. Oh. And he's also got rid of that extra. The crop is nice because he's got rid of the extra bit down here and up there, which is like not really doing anything for the photo. Ah. Let me check. Okay. Country Manor, here's the monochrome. Added some grain and vignette to make it look like some old house from way before. Yes, that is a nice explanation of that, actually. Okay, so that was a look at that. Out of, that, out of those, the Manor one, I like the best. I think Alpha Juan because of that the Xander's that's a nice job that feel it gives you is nice and then legendary I don't think he's in chat but that was a very nice edit I don't know I like that HDR effect like it's almost like a real estate photography kind of thing where you're selling the house and you have that photo so like that could be like in a brochure somewhere nice job uh Madges I like the Madges I like that sunny edit I like all of them Raj 
he did a nice little, I like Raj's clouds. So if you see there, it's like almost like 3D. They are 3D, but as in, in the photo. And is that a, is that a bird? Nice. Okay. That was the first one. You guys, you guys do really good. Is it worth buying a fire? What was that? Okay. So number two is, let's have a look. Okay, so I think we've been doing quite well there. That's the first lot of images. Thank you guys. It's always great to get you on chat and speak to you. Um, let me just make sure we're all in. So as we're going through these, I'm gonna go through the second lot now. I think we should go through the cityscape one, and then I'm gonna save the best till last because you di you did some amazing work with the um the canal one. So this is the other one. Let me zoom in. Okay, so we'll start with Albin. So he's pulled out certain colors, kept it black and white. The lady is still there. This thing's, I was hoping someone would retouch this and put the panels back in, because what's happening is on this, uh, uh, what you call it, building, the actual discs are falling off. So they've got repairers that always put them back on. So you'll see that those look a bit odd. Um, but yeah, that's Albin. That's Juan. Xander. Ooh, that's a nice feel to that. I like that. Leb, another nice edit. Similar kind of feel. The colours on this one weren't great, so it was very challenging. I know you guys may have struggled with that, so sorry. Um, ooh. Legendary went for the building and he kind of concentrated a bit more up here with a slight maybe vignette. Okay, I'm gonna check his description. Okay. Okay, these are square, so you're probably not seeing them in full. Okay. Wow, real steel. That reminds me of like an artistic effect. You know where they do oh no, it's like a yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uber Vincent. Scott, I don't think he's in chat today, but he was in last week. Okay, that's back to Albin. Okay, out of those, let me show you the originals so we can see what to compare it against. Uh, that was the original. Because I thought I'll do like a, a landscape type on this time. Okay, so that's that. A bit of crop here because there's an odd arm over here. Okay. Let me check the descriptions on these. Okay, so City Madge went for black and white, just the usual edits with soft veneer around the person. Yes, I saw that was a nice job, Madge. Um, Moody and Canal, okay. Lebs one cityscape by playing with the famous new menu. I only lowered the saturation to the minimum of all the colors except blue. Ah, you're using a new software then, are you, Leb? Uh, looking for ideas to make these edits. I found new menu in Lightroom. Okay, VSL color. Allowing to modify only one color of the image and learned it every day. We learn it. Okay, now it's nice to see you guys like experimenting with new colors and that. Uh, oh, Zander, welcome back. We are missing you. We are looking through that. Um, there's a few nice shots there and it's always good to see that. Uh, I think you, one of your ones was the best ones I liked from the previous. Uh, let me have a look. Let me go back. Entries. Yeah, yeah, there's a few that stand out there, but uh, okay, so we're on number three because I've skipped number two. We're going to keep number two for last. The canal was a wicked job. Okay, out of these, these are some challenging photos, so I understand I gave you guys a challenge. So I think out of them, Lebs one stands out. I like real steels as well. It's like a bit, I don't know, it's a bit artistic-y. But I like the kind of flowy painting feel of it. So real steel, well done. Magi, oh yeah, I like Magis. It's like that contrast of movement against kind of not as much movement. And you can see the cars in the back as well. Okay. I'll let you guys decide. We've got one. Let me open them up. One. Two. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, and back to the start. Those that's a tricky one because it's a challenging one, but I'll give it to you guys to see. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, Maji one. Yes. Okay. Okay, that was the cityscape. Let me just have a quick look at the cityscape one. I went for a cold, dark look, added gradient and radial masks around the person, and then a little bit of bokeh. Yes. Okay. Walking woman. Okay, Vincent Uber. Walking woman. I also have a problem with it, but in the end, I decided to do it in black and white and I move some piece to make better composition. I just saw other submissions and it's strange that the people chose to make a black and white and similar crop. Not many solutions to. Yeah. Yeah, I think this one was like a tricky one. It's only. It wasn't a great photo, to be honest, but it's good to see what was done with it. I think the only one that is. Oh uh, yeah, he kept it color. Alpha. Zander kept the color. And I do like that fact that he kept that. Because it gives you like a moody in the UK when it's raining and cloudy, it's kind of this feel when you're going through town, going to work. It's like buses everywhere and people are just doing their thing, and that's the color you get. Uh okay, on the cityscape, I kept the subject at the center. There's so much going on, the, but yeah, there's no like direct focus uh, in the image really long and there are uh, buses on the left. I sought for balance in the composition. Yes, you did a great job. That looks like, okay, you can't see the full image actually. Let me uh, display capture. There's actually more to the image down there. It's because of my crop that it looks like, because I can only catch it so much of the screen. But yeah, that was a nice job. Um, okay, you know what? I think it's time we move to the canal, which is the best one I'm saving for. Because you, uh, let me make sure you can see everything. Okay, let me zoom in a bit on that. Okay, so this one was my favorite because you guys did some really good. The manner was really good as well. Don't get me wrong, but this one, from what it was, from that, that's the original. There wasn't much like there it's like a wasted shot i was like oh that's nothing but when you guys picked it out and you put the detail out it made me look at the image in a different way i was like oh wow okay there's a lot there if you spend the time to bring it out so if i go to your edits i'll go in order because i think it's nice to see them side by side all the edits you did because before i used to do like three 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 but comparing them to each other is nice because you can see stuff that wasn't there so in this edit i like the fact that it draws you in can i use my I don't know if this will work. I feel like the teachers have that laser thing. Let me see if this comes up. Um, okay, let's get that. Yay, look at that. Okay, there. So I like the fact that bridge, bridge, bridge. So it's like a leading line. So I like that. In the original, I don't know if it was noticeable or not. So if I go back to the there see it's not as noticeable there's like a bit hazy and blurry but the crop that he's pulled this is albin's one it draws you in and also you can see the people on the bridge over here and some of the text that's being put on the bridge okay that's the first one. Ooh, that is like a typical uk foggy day is he juan's from the philippines isn't he zanda are you philippines or I'm trying to think, I'll get confused as two there. But yeah, that is what a normal UK day would look like because you kind of, everything's a bit murky. I like, you can't really see anything. I like the extra detail here and the water. Again, that's like a leading line. Let's compare it against the original. It's giving like a bit of a moody, greeny feel. Nice. Let's go back. Leb. He made this very HDR kind of effect. The, we'll call that detail. Flav IBS, you can see all the text and everything. That is a nice edit. And again, in the reflection, yes, 
and that maybe a bit of work in the sky would have made it pop. I know I uh, blew it out. There's nothing there to get back, but maybe even a fake, like a sky cloud or something would have added a bit more to it. That's Leb's one, but I like it. Oh, there. Th that's what I mean. So look at Legendary. You remember Ghostbusters? The one where that clouds get, um, they come in and it's that big thing comes, that guy. The painting comes alive and the clouds are like that. And it's got a nice color on the bridge. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Monkey Pigs is haunting us, Uber. He likes to pop in every now and again. He doesn't like photography, but he's here on a photography live show. And we're looking at photos together. I think next time, what you should do is with your amazing skills, um, I know, <laughs> I know you're joking. I think you should uh, spray it in. Uh, Uber, you should do that next time. On one of our paintings, just graffiti on the wall. It'd be like a hidden gem. You know, like you watch Avengers movies and they have Easter eggs. It'd be like that. Um, inside of the bridge because it was distracting. Yes, D -H you're right. Okay, one sec. But I like that again. That's like like a bit of a artistic shot there. What would have been nice is someone is walking up there with their dog. That would have given us that like just that composure, the three way. But I like the light uh, legendary job there. Uh, Majipu again. He added some clouds in. Nice job. Let me compare against the original. So straight away you've already got a nice detail out in like the bridge here because you can see there. What is this? What is that? Uh, is it in the original? It probably was, but look at that. That's the original. And look how he brought that out. I don't know what it is. It looks like something flying. Yeah, that, that's a nice job. Maji, Poo, Raj. Ooh. Raj is working his magic as well. So he's kind of, again, gone for that leading position. And you can see the buildings of people. I like the colors there, like an autumn. There's a lot of color in there. That's like a nice spring color, like autumn kind of, not spring, autumn drop. That was nice. Real steel. He's gone for a painting effect again. Uber Vincent. Okay. Ooh, Witchy Hufflepuff. What? Witchy Hufflepuff. That is a nice edit. Harry Potter Hufflepuff, yeah? I was expecting you to do the manor then. Witchy Hufflepuff, you should have done the, the manor edit in like a Harry Potter style. That would have been nice. But okay, yeah, that gives me that Harry Potter feel. Towards like the Deathly Hallows where the sky kind of turns. And that is a nice job. I like it. Yeah, that looks quite intense. All the way through, nice sharpness on the... Okay, let's compare it to the original. Okay, I think Witchy Hufflepuff, you're going to get a uh, award for your entry. So thank you very much. That was a nice job. It got me feeling Harry Pottery. So that's nice. Okay, Witchy Hufflepuff and Albin back to the start. Okay, out of these ones, let's have a look. So, there. Now. Okay. I like, because I'm in the UK, I like this one. Because he's basically given the photo a feel of how it should be. So Xander, good job. Thank you for that edit. That moody kind of thing. That's what we always get in the UK. So it's good to see you make a photo into that. So good job. And. I like Leb. Legendary for some reason. Legendary, we would, it'd be good to get him in chat. Because he's, a couple of these ones have been very, I think some of the ones that have a lot of detail, I like them. Like, you know, like that kind of, that fakiness, HDR, intense feel. This like like, um, what's it called, that film? Peaky Blinders? You seen Peaky, it's filmed around this kind of area, the canals in Birmingham, Peaky Blinders, it's a film. Um, okay, so that was a nice job, yes. Those are working out quite nicely. 
let me just check this out yes okay which hufflepuff attempt on the bridge image uh difficult to make yes uh, recent canal regent canal bad day of for photography i'll try and bring it some life yeah you're right um let's check a few more right canal i dehaze to the yeah give a fog mist look reduced the clarity of the trees a little bit using gradient filter desaturated lab is canal i just accentuated red and yellow color to make the image more colorful and accentuated the autumn season uh, mood canal so i wanted to go for autumn look as a tree color match to those of, of autumn color the first step involved fixing the sky's exposure and color along with yes raj uh, shadow correction then used hsl give correct colors to the trees water and reflections using a graduated filter i fixed the tree line and sky finally using the color calibration tool made it look very red and yellow to make it feel like a naturally colored yes Magipoo, this edit took a while to get right. Uh, so for some reason, when I tried to rescue the sky, it went purple. Managed to get rid of the purple in the end. Wanted to bring the autumn colors out with a pale blue and saturated oranges. Yes, ma that one was a tricky one, wasn't it? But I like your edit because you've got like natural looking sky, Madge, up there. So I like that. But look at that. Legendary is giving me that. It's giving me like a whole new... It was like a cartoon anime style, maybe. The sky and like, I don't know. It would have been good to have someone on there. Are you guys good at Photoshop? You should Photoshop characters in here. For the next one, we'll do like a fun one where you can just add people in, like characters or something. Just randomly place them. And we'll see how good you can make it. Spider-Man, maybe, hanging on the top of there. Like, you know, his pose. That would be quite good, actually. Edit my role with Avengers theme or something. It's probably copyright or, you know, just for fun. It's all right um okay that was a look at those so these remember were all taken with a 5d mark ii old camera 2008 and i like how you guys do this because it gives me different see even that i like that slight i don't know we used to have like a painting with that effect this is vincent's uber vincent mm, okay nice um you know what i think i'll show you some photos for next week's show so next week the plan is i'm going to do a live what i do with these shows is in the first half because it takes some time for youtube to send the notifications out so the first 10 to 15 minutes i basically pick a topic um and this time it was a canon 5d mark ii and us there's quite a few creators i like to come on the show when they do like elements with us so i speak to them about that next week i'm planning to do either a lens so i'll pick just one lens and give you photos from that one lens and do like a the best macro lens or something and then i've got product photos so if i show you photos i'll give you like a, a look at next week's uh photography live show edit my raw photos okay there so i'm planning to give you these three photos which are product for photos i asked in reddit to see if you guys would be interested so that's one photo i don't know just do what you want to do with it and edit it that's two and that's three so food watch and that's like a vape for cigarettes and stuff so i picked them out from some other pictures but we'll see how you get on with those and i might do like a, a shoot along so if you can make it to next week's show, it'd be great to see you because I'll do like a live shoot where I'll get another camera set up here and then we can you can actually watch me take photos and we can take tips of how to make the photos better. And as I take the photos, they'll come up on screen so you'll see them. So it might be interesting to get that because I think a lot of people, especially in these days, they do product photos for selling on eBay and like Amazon and stuff. So it might be handy for people. Uh, but yeah, that was this week's photography live show. I'm hoping you find that useful. Thank you to everybody that joined. It's always great to have you on. And I think we're going to set up next week's show for either product photography. Let me bring up chat. Product photography or a lens specific video. So looking at the 24 to 70 Canon lens. 
2.8 and all the photos that were taken with it. Um, in the chapters, we have linked to all the people that spoke in this show earlier. If you missed it, make sure to watch replay and you can watch the guests that came on the show. And also thank you to Edit My Raw and everybody that takes part with these photos. It's always great to see you guys. And I know it takes time and you, you do a lot of editing for me. We're still speaking to the mods. I've not had any response. There's a couple of mods that mod edit my role, but I'm I'm working on getting some sort of like a reward scheme or something. In these episodes, we haven't had a sponsor. In my early edit my role shows, I did have a sponsor. But when I do collaborations, I try and keep it just collab specific because I had like five different creators on from YouTube um, and shared some of their work. So next week's one, it'll be product photography related. We'll give you tips. I'll show you photos to edit and I'll see you on that show. Thank you everybody for joining and I'll see you next week.